I'm Steve Oldham, um, I farm here with my wife Paula and my parents. We, we bought this farm here on the Mamaku Plateau uh, about four years ago. It's under the regional council rules for Lake Rotorua. So, so all our rainfall here ends up down in Lake Rotorua. So we, you know, we be, have to be pretty careful about what we do here. It was difficult to get your head around what you could and couldn't do on the farm. But um, we saw the potential and sort of looked down the road at what technology was coming to help us out in regards to nitrogen leaching and things like that. Other catchments were already talking about it anyway, so it was going to happen wherever we went. So the modelling we did was on the original overseer program and it started out around 700 cows, um, dropping to about 500 cows by 2032. I don't want to have to go to one of our employees one day and tell them, you haven't got a job. You know, if we have to drop 200 cows, that's, that's a lot of income we won't have. So once we decided we were going to go with Ecotain and introduce it into the system, I got Daniel involved from FarmSource straight away and he was excellent. He um, brought Hamish out to the farm from Agricom and we talked about how to, how to actually put it into the system. We were looking for tools to try and mitigate our nitrogen losses. Ecotain is very low in dry matter. What's happening in the cows is the urine patches, the nitrogen amount in that urine patch decreases. So there's not the big loading on the ground when the cow urinates on one patch. Um, and that makes a huge difference to the leaching because um, it can be taken up more by the other plants in that area um, rather than leach through the soil profile. Then the other side of it is too, in the soil itself, somehow it's um, be becoming a nitrogen inhibitor and yeah, same thing, it's preventing it leaching. So yeah, it's a double, double side to it. The way we introduced the eco tank was mainly through over sowing. We just threw it in with a fert, piece of cake, real easy to do, no challenge. We did a bit of under sowing with it as well, but to be honest, over sowing was probably the best way to go. Once it was in the round, it's actually held on pretty well. Um, we run a system where wetter winters, so we carve a little bit later, but we have great summers. We don't really have a big spring peak here, um, being 500 metres above sea level, you know, it's a bit colder, but in those summers it just keeps trucking on and plantain is absolutely brilliant when there's enough moisture and soil temperature it outperforms the ryegrass every time. Once plantain is fully an overseer we'll be able to pretty much cover off what the regional council requires us to do as far as our nitrogen leaching and we won't have to change a thing. You talk to Fonterra it's what our customers want and so the customer's right so you know we've just got to try these things and get it done but to be honest, we can put it in, achieve what they want to achieve, and actually not change our, our farm at all. Keep production. You know, we've been increasing production here year on year as it's been introduced. And um, yeah, we want to keep it that way.